All right, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, welcome back to my channel. We are going to play a uh, Cultivating Gentleman. So we're going to try this next mission here. For those of you on Twitch, we're going to be still here. Ooh, that's kind of weird that they did that. And um, let's see here. So let's go ahead out into the lobby. All these doors front and back are open. So we have bugs have direct access to our bedroom. And let's see here. Yes, there has been a power bill on my summer car, just so you know. Yes, Evelyn. Hey, so wait, co-op's canceled tomorrow? Yes, co-op got canceled. Why? Because of the weather. It's freaking fine! That's, and there's a lot of kids sick, I guess, too. They said it's kind of a combination. Attach the plow. Okay. So let's go ahead and start this up. Uh, who? Probably not, Evelyn. Don't go back to I hope not. She said, I hope not. Well, I hope so. I need a break. You guys were supposed to go this weekend, and you didn't go. Like, <laughs> and now she's not going to pick you up during the week. It's like, how, like, <clears throat> she has you how many hours a week? Like, three? Anyway. Not that I want you to feel like that, but I just sometimes it's nice for me to have, like, a little bit of a break. Like, a day off or two is appreciated, almost always. I wonder how many gears this thing has. Once again, I'm not seeing the gear thing in the... That's crazy, Gator. That sounds like fun. And we're going to pick this up. There we go. And we're going to drive to field 15. So today we're going to be doing a plowing mission. It said cult a cultivating gentleman, but... Oh no, you can die from getting stung now? What? That sucks. That's not a good idea. How many gears does this thing have? A lot. And I'm driving the wrong way because I thought we were supposed to go this way. All right, so off we go. Good job, Gator. Oh my goodness, this has a ton of gears, like 18 gears. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is the tech demo, and I did purchase a I did purchase a supporter pack, but that's the the this is whatever. I've got a full map now, um, and there's a harvester. I can get a. Um, How do I tell? Because I did I did pay for the supporter pack, so I don't know if we're still in tech demo, uh, but it seems like they added a new map, which is much larger than the original, um, and it's got, um, there's a forage harvester, you start with some cows and money, so I'm wondering if I'm in that scenario, um, so we'll see. That is originally why they called them that, because um, it was it's a tractor, tractor trailers. All right, so we're going to have to plow this field. Which way is our plow going? Oh, wait. That was weird. So it must go down like A, B, C, D type gears on this one. Anyway. Is this the one we're supposed to do? I guess so. Okay, so we want to get the plow unfolded. Uh, which is going to be this button, I believe, extrude. And I want to figure out which ones are full. Which fl that this should put it up and down. How do we flip it? That opens and closes it, but I haven't found the flip button yet. So let's see here. There's got to be a way to flip this plow. And it looks like, oh, this is cool too. I wonder what this does. This actually flips the seat, right? <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know this tractor had that. I don't know why you do this, but I guess you're doing some kind of other work. 
That's really cool. Oh, look, there's some controls here that we have, too. So maybe we have to do this from inside the tractor, I'm wondering. Um, there's a leaf bug on my face. All right, so, um, oh, no, I don't start driving yet. Okay, there it is. What do we got here? That This rolls the window down. What do we got here? That opens the door, rolls the window down. So they've done the same kind of system that we have with uh, Farm Sim with the whatever the space bar thing was in Farm Sim. I forget what you call it. But I haven't... Let me see. Here, in the controls... I'm sorry, this is taking a while to figure out, but I need to... Let's see. Um, uh, movement, general... Use and use secondary. Enable, disable. Attach and detach. Raise and lower. Enable. Oh, rotate. That's one that I missed. Like, who needs rotate? I do. <laughs> All right, so this is... This will rotate the direction, I think. Does this plow not rotate? It should. Oh, that's right. This is that stupid one where you have to, you have to minimize, like, like make it small, and then you can rotate it, right? Did I not set the control R? No, that's doing it, but hmm, I'm still confused. Uh, for some reason, my button didn't take. R. Sorry. It was going to take me a second to figure this out. Why didn't it... Why didn't it work? Laser Hawk. <laughs> oh, it didn't take it. That's why. Frick. Button one. Thank you. Rotate. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so we should be set up to go now. Continue game. I'm going to back it up a bit because I kind of... You want to get that first pass off the field, so... So this first pass is going to be right here, and we're going to go ahead and line up our nose accordingly, and we're going to go ahead and drop the plow... And I'm actually going to turn my mirror in a little bit because this will help if I can see the where the plows do. Just make sure the plow's working. That must not be the right mirror. There's that. And this. Well, Dark Assassin, I am. And welcome aboard. Is it delayed? Sometimes that happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and lower this guy. I'm going to go ahead and start moving forward here with this tractor. Now, I think this tractor is not in four-wheel drive right now, so I probably should stop for a second and enable four-wheel drive. There you go, Gator. Oh, it was in four-wheel drive. Never mind. It was already enabled. Come on, baby, pull. Definitely physics going on here. I'm having to really work that steering wheel, baby. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> Another farming game. I think this one's going to have... This one has greatness. Man, I feel... I'm really fighting the steering wheel, which I like. That really feels like I'm really plowing a field. Uh, more so than any of the other ones that I've tried. So, that's exciting. I know, I think Farmer's Dynasty is also adding the ability to assign controls. So that'll be good, because then we can do stuff like this. I'm happy about that. We should be doing a nice, yep, nice, nice plow going on there. Yep, 
Yeah, but I got the steering wheel pulled to the right. Yeah, steering wheels are super expensive now, man. I mean, I think they've always been kind of expensive, but I mean, compared to they used to be like a hundred bucks. Now they're you're talking hundreds, you know, three hundred bucks. I'm gonna raise that. I'm gonna small it and flip it. And I'm gonna start pulling ahead. And I'm gonna back up. I don't know, man. It's gonna be pretty intense, Gator. But I think you'll enjoy it. College is, college is good for the soul. <laughs> college is good. Nothing wrong with going to school to school for sure. And dual enrollment. It's kind of funny. So you'd be going to school at the same time you'd be going to high school. Is that the deal? My kids did that with tri at Tri C. My two oldest sons did Tri C classes. Oh yeah, feeling it like a real tractor, dude. Whoa. Uh, try to keep that wheel in. I totally screwed up that outside mirror. I can't tell what I'm doing on that side. Ooh, the Blade Runner model. That'll be totally cool. Yeah, that's true. They're all force feedback. That's a good point. But then again, the Logitech... Back in the day, the Momo was only 120 when it came out, but that was, of course, 20 years ago, so inflation has changed all that. Things are more expensive than they used to be. I wish I had put my mirror out. Hang on, I'm going to fix my mirror. Hold on. All right, so let's uh, do this, fix that. There we go. And let's go ahead and get it back into drive. <laughs> this is sweet. Serious tractor action going on here. Uh, I didn't do the furrow quite right. I need to get my wheel over further. So you can see there I wasn't filling up the hole that I made early on. So there's a pretty big divot. You need to get the tractor over a little bit more so it's pushing, it's filling in that divot there like that. That See how it is now? That's how it should look. I screwed things up bad. But not bad for my first run. I'm learning. I mean, what do you guys think? Check out this, you know, look at how this is working with the plow. This is probably the best plowing that I've, I've seen in a game. This is incredible. It it feels so much more solid than, than Farm Expert. Even though Farm Expert has deformable terrain, this just feels way more solid in its action. Uh, that's up to Seth, honey. Okay, I guess. So, let's go ahead. Let's check out the outside view here. I know some people like the cabin view. I prefer the cab view. Uh, okay, so you can you can get uh, early access is what I'm playing right now, or it might even be still considered the the uh, tech demo. Uh, this is cattle and crops. You can get it from cattleandcrops.com. Um, I don't know if they still have packages available available for it. Um, they might it might be closed right now. Uh, they did. I bought it when it was um, in the support phase. So I put, I think I paid 50 bucks or something uh, like a year ago when it first was announced. Um, so I don't know. You'd have to check the website and see. But look at how much that plow is pulling this tractor. That's awesome. You tried my summer car and it actually worked. Cool. <laughs> now, I will say this, Dark Assassin. Uh, this does require, this is a very hefty requirement. Like, my new video card is playing it great. My old video card did not play it so well. And that was a really good video card. So just... Um, Ah, uh, Farmer's Dynasty, it's a great game so far. I'm really enjoying it. So we got some big releases coming out. This game is not going to be released for probably another year or so. Um, Farmer's Dynasty should be getting released later this month, I think. February 18th, I thought was their goal. Um, if they can get past this lawsuit thing, which I'm sure they will. Uh, and then after that, we're also looking at... Um, um, yeah, the Ropa DLC is coming out. During the death exams, right? Yeah, and then also, yeah, right, Gator. Uh, and then, um, and actually, they use uh, Unimogs, Mercedes Unimogs, to, to plow fields a lot of times too. Nerfer, I'm sorry, uh, um, Gator. What's up, Nerfer? Um, and then also, uh, Pure Farming comes out in March. 
And they've been doing a lot of uh, advertising on their Facebook page. There's some cool stuff. They're showing a truck and all that stuff, uh, hauling stuff around, so it's pretty cool. I need to get my back lights on, so hang on, let me figure out. There we go. And my front lights. There we go. Okay. Dark Assassin, uh, which, what farm sim are you talking about? Okay, uh, Pure Farming. Yep, Pure Farming comes out this year in March. Yeah, this is a slow process. This is taking a lot longer than it does in Farm Sim. Definitely feels a lot more realistic. What's up, John? Oh, yeah? Now, the only thing I don't like, and I don't know how we can change this, if we can... Can we change this? It seems like you're stuck with fast... Like, I can't change the hour... Uh, unless maybe there's something in the settings. Let's see if we can change that. Settings, gameplay, graphics configuration, effects, texture quality, dynamic lights. Yeah, real farming is pretty bad. This game is a, just like any of the other farming games, it's pretty much just a straight-up farming game. It's Once again, we're still in very, very early access, so there's going to be a lot of things that are going to get added Remove, changed, so you can't necessarily depend on everything that you see in this video being what's in the final game. Um, I want to see real quick. Is there a way that we can change? The, um, I don't see a way to change the time scale, which stinks, but oh well. Let's see. Remember when we were driving... This game like one star. I don't remember this game ever being one star, but I think this is going to be a good game. Uh, sorry, I'm way over remming. Yeah, my summer car is pretty tough on the graphics cards. Um, in the set, it's in the settings. Which settings, Jared? What what panel is it under? Do you know? Top left. So if I go to settings, options, I don't gameplay, physics realism, language. Yeah, I don't. I just don't see anything. Fields, border, player, always run. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, real farming. Yeah, it is funny that farm simulators. Um, uh, the main play UI. Okay, Jared, I'll try that. Um, yeah, it is. It's interesting. Play playable all quests. Available story. Status. Uh, tractor. Vehicles. Fleet. Nope. Nope. Character. Level 1. Nope. Fields. That's the missions. Now, I don't see anything in there. Maybe this. Type full-time. These are jobs. Okay, no. So there's nowhere. I think you'll be able to do it, but. Sure, Jer. Hang on. I'll join you in a second. So, no. This game is. It is and it isn't. It's in, it's in an extremely early access slash tech demo state. So it's not complete yet. Um, there's still a lot, a lot of work to do in this game. Uh, but, yeah, Jared, I'll join you there in a sec. So. Um, but uh, yeah, we got a ways to go. But it's looking really good so far. Like I said, I, I'm the more I play it, the more impressed I am. And the, the physics are starting to, you know, at first when the tech demo came out, it was like yeah, but now it's really starting to look good. Um, yeah, the the um, <laughs> that's so funny, gaming nerfer. Yeah, uh, uh, but the uh, no real farm, and I'm gonna try it again because they've done some updates, but they just. That game, first of all, doesn't have any you know real tractors in it, which that's not a huge pet peeve of mine, but it does make it not. If the game's going to be bad, at, at least you know you could have name brand tractors. I don't know. I mean, it's just not the real real farm has been a kind of a disappointment. Pure farming looks like it's going to be decent. This game already is looking like it's going to be good. I don't care if they don't have like like 500 different brands. Like one or two brands is okay. Hang on one second, folks. I'm gonna bump Jared in here. 
Uh, this is not going to be available on Steam. I don't know that it ever will be available on Steam. I think it's probably going to be available from their website, but it may not be. So. Channel switched. What's up, Jared? Howdy. So what do you think, Jared? You like the way it looks? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting two of you here. There we go. Yeah, it looks really nice. I think it's good. Straw Harvest is still out there, Dark Assassin. Um, I've been playing with it. It looks it's pretty fun. I have a couple of the pieces of equipment on my personal farm. You will see it start coming into um, into play <laughs> on my channel pretty soon. Uh, but I have I am already using the equipment quite a bit. So, so he, here in your main play UI in the top left corner, there's that black box with white text in it, and there's yes. like a, a pause, play, forward, fast forward, super forward. Yes. Button. Does doesn't that adjust your time scale? Oh, man. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too, John. Hey, Daddy? No, it's still yeah, going. It's still going. If I pause it, it goes to zero. Um, and then if I press play, it just goes to full speed time, where one second is one minute. Okay, but what about the, sorry, the fast forward and double fast forward buttons? Well, that makes it go even faster. <laughs> well, there you, so isn't that your time scale, then? Yeah, but it's it's it, it, the minimum time scale is one minute per. Oh, so you can't? Are you trying to slow it down? Yes. Oh. So that it gets uh, it gets normal normal mode. I think. What, one one second to one second you're you're looking for. Right, exactly. Gaming Nerfer asks, how much is cattle and crops? I don't know. I bought the the two year season pass, and that was fifty bucks. Um, I don't know how much it is now. They might have changed prices. But it seems to be about, if you want a two-year season pass with anything that comes out after the game is released, um, then it's $50. So I would imagine it's probably $30 for just the base game. Um, but make sure to check out their website. It's it's simply cattleandcrops.com. And all the information. A-A-N-D. Yep, A-N-D, not the letter N. It's The game itself is actually called Cattle in Crops, like with the N. But the website is Cattle and Crops. And so, uh Kickstarter, you can get the the early farming pass for 33 euros, whatever that translates to your local currency. There you go. So like what, 40 bucks? It depends what the euro is like. Let's see, 33 euro in USD. Uh, 40 dollars and 84 cents today, right now. Okay, 40.84. Okay. Not right now. No. No, you don't have any money. John, I'm not doing that right now. All right, so I'm going to lift this, and we're going to do the, the reverse. What other packs are they offering right now? Ooh, I just closed the tab. Let's find out. Come on. Why is my history? There we are. Oops. They have an early farming pack, uh, season pass for one year, 44 euros, season pass two years, 59 euros. That's the one that only, I got. Only 10 remaining. Season pass four years, gold supporter for 99 euros, 168 remaining. Uh, four times bundle, and then they have a bunch of inactive or already claimed. Oh, so there's a limit to how many you can buy. Ah. Uh, on Kickstarter. Okay. The early farming pass is unlimited okay uh season one passed unlimited so the two-year end up pass is only limited they've okay. only got 10 two-year passes left and 168 four-year pass left okay what does the two-year pass include uh, stop asking me questions after i close the tab <laughs> you're closing it too fast the sorry the one year or the two-year pass let's look at the two-year pass all right uh, all digital downloads, CNC DLCs for two years. So it gives you all the DLCs for two years, beginning with the release version. Um, season pass valid for two years. Early access, download version. Uh, file version 1.0, download version. Um, Kickstart backers, exclusive tractor available in 1.0 when they release. Cool. Uh, supporter from the first hour silver. Uh, so it's a CNC community badge, I think. I'm guessing that'll show up on Steam, or I don't know. 
community badge, and your name in the credits optional. That's so funny. I don't think I did. I don't think I have my name in the credits, but Arthur's YouTube channel. Ah, he's gonna game your is going to make a cattle a cattle tutorial. I think it's a good idea. It's a good way to get your channel noticed. Dark Assassin says he can play Farm Sim on his computer, which he shouldn't be able to. Interesting. Like through Sony or something like that? Is that how that works? Like maybe if you buy one copy it allows you to do all of them? I don't know. Anyone want to buy me Assassin's Creed 2? Get out of here, Seth. <laughs> no begging. Ow, oh man. Now you gotta rub my neck. That hurt. I don't ask for them. People just give them. Did, uh, I told Seth that um, I got uh, Subnautica a little while ago. Uh, somebody gifted me Subnautica last night, and I that will be. That was uh, big nasty. Yeah. Oh. That oh, that's so cool that he gave that to you. That's cool. Yeah. It, it, it just got released, a uh, full version release. So. Subnautica. Yeah. It's. It, it's. I tell you, it's an awesome game. It supports the two major um, VR headsets too. I didn't know that. I, available for Mac and Windows. So I'm, I'm, and I'm rather impressed. It's got some awesome graphics to it. It's yeah. Got, and it's got, it's got a really good story in it. The only thing I, I would have liked, um, I'm somewhat disappointed that there's no like uh, multiplayer mode where you and you know, another player can't. Oh, around. weird. In creative, in creative mode. It's only a single player. And um, another kind of pet peeve of mine is you can't name your save games. So, I mean, you can have a bunch of save game slots, and it tells you if you're in creative survival, whatever, and in what sort of um, ships you have, like um, underwater vessels you have built um, and whatnot. But you Oops. can't name the save game. So if you have two or three different creative worlds, oh. you're, you're stuck just looking at the screenshot of where you last saved the game. <laughs> That's hilarious. So there's no, you can't. And, and, and the play time. So you might have like eight hours, 52 minutes, and one, two oh. hours, 12 minutes, and another one. And, and that's very frustrating for me at the moment. And Alyssa's into it too. She loves it. I wish you could do multiplayer. Um, yeah, it would be nice. Dark Assassin's saying they said they will never do it. Yeah, I get, um, the dev said they weren't ever doing multiplayer for some reason. Well, that's kind of silly. I wonder if that has to do with um, if that has to do with the the VR component. Oh, that's a good point. It could. Um, although, I think VR is only that's only rendering what you're seeing. Right. Uh, so you're getting two small screens instead of one big screen. Okay. I don't know. Oh, hey, we'll see. Uh, you guys. We'll see you, Dark Assassin. Yeah, later, Dark Assassin. Man, this is definitely labor intensive. That tractor's going pretty slow, and I mean, it, you got a, a beefy size to it. I think in real life, when I see tractors plowing, though, this is about the speed that you see them going. Um, yeah, maybe. Cultivating, they usually go faster when they cultivate, but. Uh, Lemkin. Um, yep. You got yes, it is. Good call. Tabletop simulator has multiplayer feature. <laughs> what is that? So tennis, uh, like a tennis. It's, it's where you can see the tabletop, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and you can design different sort of tables and chairs. Are you serious? That's table. what it. That's what it is. I'm making that up off the top of my head. Yes. I'm assuming this is taking too long. I know this does take I, a long time. I'm guessing, it's, I'm guessing it's ping pong. Okay. You know, table tennis. That's what. That's what my thought was too. Table tennis. <sighs> Um, yeah, this is taking a while. Um, I wonder, Plowfield. I hope, you know, given the, the longer time commitment for the field, you'll get a better yield out of it. Yes, and also you know don't, for, I mean? don't forget that this game is season-based, so there's going to uh, be, you're, you're going to have a full year, so you're not going to be plowing like every three days. You'll be plowing once a year, and then you won't do it again for another year, so it's... Uh, it won't be too brutal. It will take a long time, though. But, yeah, you can get bigger plows and stuff later in the game. But it's a board game simulator. Oh. 
Yeah, I think I've seen something like that. You know, one of my favorite, um, or one of my first actually VR games that I that I've uh, tried, and it's really good. If you haven't tried it, you need to do it. It's called Keep Talking and Nobody Dies. We have that actually. Micah got it for me. That I that is fun to play um, on the computer. It's even it's even better to play when you're in VR, and you can use. Um, you you can use Android VR for that. So if you have like um, a Google Cardboard or a more professional version, um, you can actually do VR in that game, and it, it's cool. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I can tell Slim Click is new to farm simulators. <laughs> yeah. Your your goal is to farm, my friend. Raise it, raise cat raise cattle, feed them, grow corn. Grow wheat, and grow barley, and have a farm, and keep it running, and make money, and... I suppose the game could be over if... Keep talking, nobody explodes. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Fox. Uh, I was just going off my desktop icon, which was truncated. Keep talking, nobody explodes. That's right, because you're, you're uh, disarming a bomb. <laughs> We have another fan of the game here. Flashing light in the cab. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I don't see any flashing light in the cab either. There's shadows. Maybe you're seeing the... Are you seeing the tree? The shadows from the leaves on the trees going through my, my cabin? They should be disappearing now because I'm getting out of the tree. I think this might be what you're what you're seeing. Is that which, light? Which admittedly looks really good. Yeah, it does. Now, the other shadows are watery looking, though. Maybe that's what he's seeing. This thing's really fighting. Yeah, Cattle and Crops, I think, is... Uh, this is... Um, I'm pretty excited about this game. I think it's going to be a good farming game. I hope they have multiplayer. I know they talked about it. So we should be able to have <laughs> two or three guys doing this and making it go a little bit faster. Cattle in crops would be better. That's right. Yeah, but they'd be trampling all, all of your hard hard worked fields. There's cattle in them crops. Oops, I messed up. Yeah. Hey, farmers go crazy trying to keep the cows out of the fields. That's, that's right. <laughs> They'll trample the corn. <laughs> and surprisingly, I never knew, I never knew, but cows can jump fences fairly well. Wait, they can do what? I, cows can jump fences if you're not careful. I've heard of I've that, never, yeah. I've, I've never seen it. But I've I heard. A, I had a friend uh, back home who they they had fields and they had cows and every now and then their their cows would end up out of the out of the their own field and down the street. It's flashing green shows above how much you got done. Top left. Oh yeah. Yes. Yep. Oh. Oh, this thing's stalled out. Are you in the right spot? Because I'm seeing it. A track to your right there, or is that just... That's what I missed. Yeah, I missed okay. it last time I came through. Yeah, in the, the, in the tutorials you can skip, but it's kind of good to see how long this really takes. You know what, Jared? I think we might be going... I think you're right. We might be going in normal time now. Because it's only it's 17 o'clock and it's still 1747, and it was a while ago when I first started. So that's hilarious, Foxel. I just found out country we choose. I just found it because of MSC. Yeah. <laughs> what what's MSC? My summer car. Oh, that's funny. It's hard to know, Gaming Nerfer. I'll tell you what, you'll get a lot of traction out of it because, you know, I find with the tutorials, people watch them again because 17 will go on sale for like five bucks next year when set when 19 comes out. And then there's yeah. going to be a million people watching all the tutorials again because they'll need to see it. So, yeah, this is definitely a patience game for sure. You are correct. Uh, it does require patience. And that is, you know, that's how farm sims are a lot of times, uh, especially when they try to go for the more realistic aspect. Remember, World of Tanks made a big deal. People were like, "We want it to be more realistic," and then so they made a really funny video about like what World of Tanks would be like if they made it more realistic. And basically, it was from the driver's point of view, and you just had like this little 
slit window and you couldn't really see anything aside from like the what was out the slit you know because that's really what it's like for a tank driver I yeah thought it was pretty funny and then you know not being able to turn your turret around because the, the the gun keeps hitting buildings and other things and right <laughs> fake grandma come on baby it's really hard to get the uh, to get the, the the RPMs right I don't want to be running it at the top of the engine but when I put it here like we're starting to there's a little bit of a, a hill here at the end of the field um, I don't know if you guys can see it, Jeremy, but I can see the plow line. I've got my tire in the uh, in the the ridge of the last run that I did, so I'm putting my tire into that, and that's how I make the plow lines. That's how you're supposed to do it for these smaller plows. Actually, a lot of plows are like that. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. And then your your last tine on the right is is making your trough that you'll follow the next time around. Right, exactly. Here's the hard thing, though, gaming nerfer. You got to remember when you go between versions of games. They change things, so before you release a tutorial about how to do something, you got to make sure that it's still how you do something. It's still valid, right? Yeah. Because like with the with the cows in, in seventeen, they changed to how you mix their food and stuff. Uh, they also changed how silage works. So um, that's right, they did, didn't they? Yep. So you you can't really make it the day it's released. You have to try it all out first. That's why people when that first came out, they're like, "You got to make tutorials," and I'm like. I have to play the game first because I got to figure out how all this, figure, yeah. this stuff works. And you'll notice my first tutorial was my silage tutorial, and there's a lot of mistakes in that video, uh, including the fact that I told people that you had to use the leveler. Now, if you just if you just drive along the the the, 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 the bunker and dump it as you as you go, you don't have to use the leveler. But at the time, I didn't know that. I thought you had to use the leveler. So. You know, those are the kind of mistakes that you make, you know, when you get when you try to make a, a tutorial before you know what you're doing, so. Fox, which um, which HUD were you, are you talking about? In, in here, cattle and crops, or were you talking about tanks or what? And, uh, yes, you control a dude in this game, uh, Slim Click. That's the guy driving, the yellow dude, the, the dude with the yellow jacket. He's like Paddington Bear, but he's a guy. You said you want a Unimog as your 4x4 truck? Yeah, me too, Gator. That is a pickup truck that we can agree on. Hey, guess what I passed going down the highway today? I actually passed a Hummer. <laughs> well, now, we see them all the time here. Was it a real Hummer, or was it like a, one like H4 or something? It was a little dark, but I think it was actually one of the first... Like the original uh, Hummers? The original, but the civilian uh, purposed. Yeah, I love those. And they, they ended up making three different versions, at least here in Canada, with the first one being is pretty close to the original military. Okay. And um, the second one was more SUV-like, and then the third one was like, I don't even know how you call that a Hummer. <laughs> um, Schultz, yeah, they're supposed to allow mods in this game. Uh, there is, a, I think, in the menu. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, no, I thought there was a mods, but I don't see it. Um the rumor is yes, they are going to have mods. You got maps, though. I don't know because there's the whole system is based on a. Um, this is, these are the guys that made course play, so the knowing the map is integral to the workers. I don't know how they're going to work all that out, but yeah. But the Unimog would make a great a great pickup truck. Not much good for family stuff, but actually not much good for anything aside from going out in the snow and pulling people that are stuck out. But that can be a lot of fun. So, my friend has a Pinsgauer, and uh, he used to take that out in the snow whenever, whenever, um, whenever the weather would get bad, and uh, he would go rescue people that got stuck. So, it's pretty cool. Pinsgauer is similar to the Unimog. Yeah, the levelers are really hard to use. So, um, yeah. So there usually is a multiplayer aspect to this uh, Slim Click. Um, in fact, Farm Sim 17, of course, has tons of multiplayer stuff in it, so. Sorry to hear about your elbow, Foxel. Ouch. We are almost done. I'd say two more passes and we'll be finished. 
put the plow to the so maybe three passes. I've gotten off track here a little bit. You can see how the field's a lot wider on one end than it is on the other. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of space inside a Hummer from what I've seen in the original one. The new ones have more space because they're designed to be people cars. But I did end up having to get a whole new set of tires from Ikea. That was painfully expensive. Even with cheap tires, it still was like 400 bucks to have all the tires done. And then I had to get an alignment. That was another 90 bucks. So the whole the grand total was just under $500. I'm like, oh, But it needed it. And man, it drives different now that I got the, the alignment done. <laughs> We'll have to see, Jeremy. Um, I still haven't had dinner yet, so I'm kind of doing this before dinner. What happened, Jared? Did you get disconnected? Jared, you there? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I had a minor technicality with an iPod here. My <laughs> Wait, I forgot to turn the plow. Oh, you're done. Does not matter? <laughs> no, I still have another row. I'm not totally done yet. Is it? Oh, it is. It's saying done. No, you're not. So well, the I'm gonna run one. I'm gonna run down one more time because it's really not done. But I guess if it continues, well, oh, you're really gonna turn over the grass then. <laughs> well, wait until you see though. Follow, yeah, so follow my line. Yeah, they get awful my awful my educator. Really bad. Oh yeah, the, even even the um, Hummers when they came out, they're like terrible mileage, and they they really only do the low end of highway speeds. Right, exactly, like forty five, fifty, right. Yep. Yeah, this is looking awesome so far. I'm pretty impressed, and we'll keep playing. There's several more tutorials I need to go through. Oh, um, you're missing the edge. I know. I'm trying to get it between the two, so I get the most coverage. I'm not going to finish the whole thing, but. That was the best I could do. All right, so we're going to lift this and fold it. And the implement looks like it's getting dirty, maybe. No. That's the cleanest plow ever. Yes, we have seasons, but our equipment doesn't get dirty. Right. <laughs> it will. But once again, this game is still like in pre-early access. It's just basically a tech demo at this point. What's John? What are you doing, buddy? Yes, yes, I know you're talking about the Unimog. I was talking about the Hummer that I saw going down the street. You need a kiss, John? You got your... Did you get hurt, buddy? Cut his arm. And we hit four, top speed. Well, this tractor's pretty fast. Almost hit 50 kilometers an hour. Whoa! 40. 45. Going uphill now, not getting it. I got close to 50, so, I think 47. Are you using your um, steering wheel foot pedals for this? Yes. Cool. And so your, does this thing have a gearbox? No, yes and no, it's flappy paddles only so far. Oh, okay, but, but you still, you could still shift. Yes. Stop running. And so your gas is actually controlling your, your RPMs then? Correct. Sort of. Uh, class and Mercedes, yes. As of now, we don't know. Once again, early access, so I can't. I can't answer all those questions. I don't know, but it, it's looking like yes, it's going to be class and uh, Mercedes Benz. Once again, though, if the game is good, I don't really care if it's only got two different brands in it, because the whole point is the fun is the farming part. So um, it is cool to have all your favorite brands, but in this case, I'm not too. I'm not too broken up over it so drive to the farm thank you for the let's see drive to the farm. i got to is the it farm not, uh, this it's one? not letting you get in the cultivator yeah i think that's what it wants me but maybe you're not in the right spot because it yay uh maybe you're not in the right spot because it still says drive to the farm and that's not checked yeah i'm gonna move this out of the way and move the put the mercedes oh, right. there maybe possibly 
or I'm gonna blow I'm gonna blow the whole tutorial up. That could be what's happening too. Sometimes these have bugs in them that they don't let you finish the mission. So that could be the problem. Just because that's the end of what you can do. Exactly. All right, I'll park class, get in the Mercedes, put it in the yellow hoop. Hoop de hoop. Do the shuffle. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm at the farm. Mobits. There we go. Okay. All right, so we did good. So that's going to be it for tonight for um, farm expert. Oh my gosh. For um, whatever this game is, <laughs> cattle and crops. <laughs> there's, so, there's too many farm games now. Mission complete. I know. Okay. Turn this guy off here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I wish I could turn that off. Come on, turn this off. I could just say okay. Screaming cat. Uh, but anyway, I'm liking the way this game is looking really good so far. A million bits. <laughs> Gaming nerf is going crazy with the bits. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> All right, so there's our two tractors that we have right now in game that we can play. There's also a class far, forge har, forge harvest there. Fire uh, harvest. Yeah, fire forager. <sighs> Yawning is up. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, for the streamers, hang on for a minute. I'm going to talk to Jared for just a second, and then we will be back. Uh, but um, farm expert, or I'm sorry, <laughs> cattle and crops is looking really good. Um, it, as mentioned at the back of his jacket, there. Yep, cattle and crops. Cattle and crops is looking very good so far, and I am just. Uh, Schultz thought that was his cat. Meow. <laughs> so anyway, hang on to your hats, uh, streamers. We'll be back. But for those of you watching on YouTube, hopefully you enjoyed this look at the I think fourth tutorial in the series. Maybe the third. I don't know. They have them numbered weird. So uh, anyway, have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on Cattle and Crops.